Alright everybody, this is Austin of the Best I Can Afford Antiques channel. Ignore any background noises you might hear, my wife's in here. <laughs> I'm not saying ignore my wife, I'm saying you might hear somewhat odd noises. Alright, let me talk to you for a minute about this Chinese mud man, who I think is epically cool, and the reason I don't show my face on this channel. Now, people have asked me before, and I don't think it's really that big of a deal. It's just that I don't really care about being famous or anything. I don't want you to have to look at me. I just want these things to be famous. I want people to be able to see them. I want people to be able to appreciate them. And, you know, me jamming my fat face in there every time I'm talking about something like, Hey, everybody, listen to this. We might as well spend our time looking at the objects and learning about them and seeing things maybe I don't notice the first time I look at them and stuff. So, I mean, you know, I think it's much more useful to stare at these objects than it is to, than it is to look at me while I'm talking at you. So, so that's, uh, that's our channel philosophy here. So, this guy, he's a pretty neat uh, Chinese philosopher mud man. This must be his uh, little writing stand here. He must be writing a little book. He's got a... Uh, Maybe that's supposed to be a brush. I don't know exactly what that's supposed to be. Maybe it's a, uh, what are those, what are those hand-rolled cigars called? That, uh, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> oh, look, he's got another one. <laughs> anyway, it's a brush. Shut up. <laughs> and then he's got a scroll in this hand. Uh, and, you know, look at the remarkable detail of this guy. Look at his wrinkles and stuff. Oh, come on now. He's, like, actually got face wrinkles. Now, this is, uh, this is going to be video five of six of the Brothers Gallery. And he's, uh, not antique or anything. I just think he's a work of art. I think no matter how old he is, I think a talented artist worked on this. It's a beautiful glaze color. I mean, that is such a handsome little piece, I'm super happy to have it on my shelf. Which is where he's going to be going after I clean him up with a little bit of alcohol and stuff. He's even got shoes, huh. But yeah, I like him very much. I think he's super cool. And you see how he's supposed to be here. I think he's rad. RAD! <laughs> you guys ever see that movie from the 80s called Rad? It's about BMX kids. <laughs> Jesus, you're so old, Austin. Oh, <laughs> I'm just so sorry. What a goon. Anyway, he's not an antique. I just like him. I don't know how much they're worth. You know, I think uh, probably about what I'm paying for him. I think I paid about ten dollars for this guy on the uh, on the winning bid. But I'm kind of just figuring this as an average. I got seven pieces for about $340. So I paid about $50 a piece for everybody if I want to do it like that. You know, after all said and done, shipping, handling, auction fees, uh, all that stuff, you know. And then, uh, yeah, so this is video five out of six. Video six out of six. We're going to be talking about these Satsuma pieces here. I think they're Satsuma. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume they are, and I'll tell you why I think that later on. Um... But yeah, we'll talk about all sorts of neat stuff. I got a couple of new paintings today, oil paintings. Uh, yeah, who knows? Who knows what Austin's going to show you next, huh? Now it's going to be those vases. I just told you that. <laughs> video 6 of 6 of the Brothers Gallery. I'm going to make that video tomorrow, and you can look at those and uh, be as stunned and amazed as I am by them. This is Austin at the Best I Can Afford Antiques channel. I love all of you.